In this tutorial, I will cover the different measurement units in XML, such as pixels, SP, IN, PT, DP, and MM, and what exactly they mean. So if you have autocomplete or suggestions enabled in Android Studio, one thing that you may have noticed when trying to specify the width or height of a view, like a button over here, is that when you type in a measurement, like 50, you get six options or suggestions for uh, different lengths that you can specify. And these are different measurement units in XML. So uh, two easy ones to understand are IN and MM, which simply stand for 50 inches and, I mean inches and millimeters. For example, if I were to say two and an IN, it would make the width of my button two inches. If I were to say uh, 20 MM, it would make it 20 millimeters wide, which is basically uh, two centimeters. Now, what PT is, is it's basically one over 72 of an inch. That means that if you have 72 PT, it's basically equivalent to one inch on any uh, phone screen. The remaining three units that we have correlate to the pixels. So P PX over here stands for pixels, DP over here stands for density independent pixels, and SP over here stands for uh, scale independent pixels. If we say 50 PX, then what we're specifying is that we want the width of our button to be 50 pixels. And this, of course, is going to vary based on the, uh, this is going to, the actual width in inches is going to vary based on the density of the phone screen. For example, if I had an old phone, like an iPhone 5 versus a new phone, like a Galaxy S10 Plus, uh, with the iPhone 5, 50 PX may, is going to appear larger than the Galaxy, than on the Galaxy S10 Plus, simply because the the pixels per inch on the Galaxy S10 Plus is far higher. So we have more pixels per inch, which means that 50 pixels is not going to be as large compared to 50 pixels on a phone with fewer pixels per inch. And that's what P, a PX is. One an important thing to note is that it is not um, density independent and it is not the same size on uh, every screen. On the other hand, with 50 dp, that's going to be density independent. And that means it is not going to be based on the density of the phone screen. For example, there are approximately 160 dp units per physical inch of screen size. And it is important to note that this is not going to be the same exact physical size on every screen, simply because the 160 is an approximation. But if you were to take this code over here and run it on a phone and then run it on a 10 inch tablet, you would see that the text over here, as well as the width of the button is approximately the same size. Now, on the other hand, if we were to use SP, the difference with this is that it stands for uh, scaled independent pixels, which I talked about earlier. And the reason that this is important is because let's say the user has a preference for font size that they enabled in settings. For example, an older citizen may decide that they want to have a larger font size, which they specified in settings. So now if we were to say Android text size, um, text size equals 30 SP, it is going to scale this to their preferences in settings um, as compared to DP, which is not going to do that. That's all for this tutorial. Make sure to share the channel with friends and subscribe if you haven't already. So stay tuned for future tutorials.